has passed to get through to a difficult patient and tensions are high as Morgan reveals a secret in Shortland Street. Gerald Heathcliff Tippett, will you marry me? Just get your head around it, she is a surrogate, that is all. Look at your friends, they claim they can keep our babies. What would you call people like that? You said what you came to say, now get out of here. Why should we? They're our babies, you can't pretend they're not. You're upsetting Morgan, what good is that doing anyone? Gerald's right, everyone just needs to calm down. Who are you to poke your nose in, mate? Don't treat us my boss. And this is hospital property. I'm not having two of my nurses going off at each other about a personal issue. I'm sorry, I just couldn't take it anymore. Don't you apologise, it's that child stealing traitor who needs to apologise. Don't apologize. talk about Morgan like that. I'm just stuck you out, I'm just glad you had a lucky escape, son. I'm not going to let them upset you like this. Well, what are you going to do about it? Try punching me again? Well, he'd be perfectly justified if he did. No one is punching anyone. We just want you to leave, okay? Take Cindy with you. Hunter, back off. I'm not going anywhere. Is it true what Cindy said? Are you carrying your babies? Oh, she can't have children, I was trying to help. By keeping them from her. No, it's not. We have all been tiptoeing no. around, afraid to ask who the father is, and you've been lying to everyone. How could you do that, Morgan? You don't know the story. You don't. Leave, leave her, Tanya. Stop it, all of you. Are you happy now? Where's TK? As I said, he's left the PCC, which is why I'll be running the chick flick meetings from now on. But where's he gone? Up to the emergency department. Here? Just down the corridor. Why? Because he has. Now, back to nicotine addiction. It's not something I've ever struggled with. You've never smoked? No. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've come here to quit the habit, so let's talk about that, shall we? Um, Moana. Whoops. The stove's on. Better go. Here you go. Tina. I started that one. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sorry I don't speak to Reo. Uh, can we make it English only in here, please? Does that mean you'll be doing the karakia in English? Sorry? Well, TK always starts with the karakia. You do know what that is? Uh, yeah, of course. But I think we'll skip it. <laughs> so, who wants to check in first about their week of non-smoking? Are you okay? I never will be, not till my babies are in my arms. I can't believe Morgan's trying to keep them from you. Her and her so-called boyfriend, it is just so wrong. They won't be able to get away with it, will they? I mean, you must have a legal agreement saying... I wish. But the fertility clinic should have sorted something out. They don't even know who Morgan is. They think she's me. What? To be a legal surrogate, you have to have given birth before. Morgan never has, and she wanted to do this for us. We were desperate, so... She pretended to be you. How the hell did you pull that off? Just lucky, I guess. Lucky? When all this comes out, you can kiss nursing goodbye. Same for Morgan. I don't care. All I want is to be a mother. She promised me. She promised me my children. Why did she change her mind? Trent and I were rocked when we found out there were three babies. It took us a while to adjust, so Morgan decided we were unfit parents. No. Or at least I was an unfit mother. She can't have minded Trent so much or she wouldn't have hit on him. Can't you see? She had him right where she wanted, a pretty thing like her, pregnant with his triplets. I had nothing. Actually, I can see it. And I do know how it feels. You might think you do. I've been done over the same way. By my sister. Maya talked my husband into being a donor so she could get pregnant. And they did it behind my back. They were never going to tell me. You mean her little boy? Is my ex's child. It should have been me. I should have had his baby. I never thought my sister could hurt me like that. Tans, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Look, it's old news. There was never any hope for me and Mark. But you're untrained. We're good now. We're in this together. It's probably no help, but um, if you need me, I'm on your side.
Yes, Tori. Hey, where are you? I'm working. What do you want? I'm working too on my reading. I'm stuck on the word. Why are you ringing me? Well, I'm at home by myself. There's no one to ask. Okay, what's the word? Sound it out. It's really long. It'd be easier to show you. What time do you finish? Tie. Dot. It's like 13 letters and heaps of syllables. You wouldn't want me to get defeated, would you? No, but... So you'll come over? No. Look, I told you, whatever there was between us is over. Good luck with the reading. Hi, you've reached Tracy's phone. I'm not available to take... Hey, what are you doing? Rhonda might be coming over. I don't want to advertise how stupid I am. <laughs> You're not stupid. I was thinking about this this morning, Ty. I know what to do. Yeah, so do I. We should write the Māori word underneath the English one, and that way we can tell people that you're helping Scotty learn te reo. <laughs> Good plan. And at the end of each week, I can test you both. Uh, no. no. Uh, yes, because if Ty can learn to read English, you can get on with learning te reo. You've been all talk so far. Right, for it again, bro. Then... Pa taka matao. Pa taka matao. Hey. Oh, kia ora, kia ora. How'd it go in there? Mona did a runner. She's smarter than we thought. Was it that bad? Worse. Well, yes. uh. What are you doing here? You fellas take off. I'll ring you tomorrow. See you, girls. I was just passing. Oh, how convenient. Are you missing me yet? No, we are. Muri mai tona kuriro, e rua hekerete pia maku. Call the whole packet? <laughs> no, you don't. <clears throat> the new locum's working out well. I have high hopes for Adrian. You had to ask him to stay on full time. Possibly. Now, assuming that there are no problems with home appliances, I will see you and your friends next week. Te whakahi o tēnā Barbie doll. No he tona mohi o motuahine tuturu. Tania, I don't know whether TK's mentioned our other clinics, but our weight loss group meets on a Tuesday. If you're serious about improving your health and lifestyle, I'd suggest you think about coming along. Night night. <laughs> she doesn't smoke, she doesn't eat. I better know what else she doesn't do, eh? <laughs> The best thing I can do is keep Morgan and Cindy apart, but for that to happen, I need to change some of your roster shifts. Which ones? Uh, it's good news for you. Four days this week, you're on 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. I'd like to put your mornings instead. Who am I stopping with? Cindy. But she's done heaps of nights lately. Why is she? It's her or Morgan. I have to take Morgan's pregnancy into consideration. That's not consideration, it's perks. If Morgan isn't strong enough to be here, then she should... She's also a full-time staff member. Cindy's a bureau nurse, and she's the one who started this trouble yesterday. She had good reason. That's none of my business. It is if you're punishing her. The only thing I'm interested in is the smooth running of this department. I'm sorry, no. But Cindy is the victim here, and I won't help you make her situation any worse. Why are you taking this so personally, Tanya? This is a legal issue between a couple and their legal? surrogate. That's a laugh. Morgan impersonated Cindy. That's how she got herself knocked up. What? Morgan went to a fertility clinic and claimed to be someone she's not. As far as I can see, that's a crime. Please come in, sit down. I brought Gerald with me. Well, yes, you said this was a disciplinary meeting, and as such, Morgan is entitled to a support person. Actually, thank you, Gerald. Rules. I am aware of protocol. Can I just say, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I had no idea about the engagement party, let alone that the Watsons would be there. And actually, it wasn't like Morgan really caused any trouble at all. She just was. Yeah, this meeting isn't about yesterday. I've received a report that you posed as Cindy Watson, went to a fertility clinic, and duped them into impregnating you illegally. Is it true? Who told you that? Is it true? I didn't... No, no, don't answer that. How Morgan became pregnant is nobody's business but her own, and, and you have no right to ask. We do if a crime has been committed. There are strict laws surrounding surrogacy, and if Morgan has conspired to break them... Well, who said she did? Where's your evidence? We can always contact the fertility clinic. What, what fertility clinic? Morgan never said she used one, and if, if Cindy Watson used one, well, they're not just going to let you access her private records. There, there are privacy laws to be considered here. You are being very defensive, Gerald. Anyone would think you had something to hide. No, I'm just protecting my fiancé's rights. <laughs> Come on, we were all at the party. Cindy told us Morgan was her surrogate. She spelled out where those babies came from. 
Well, Cindy has jealousy issues. All right, Gerald, we know you have an answer for everything. The fact is, this building is alive with gossip. As long as you and Cindy are both here, that isn't going to change, is it? I suppose not. Our suggestion is you take early maternity leave. You are due to finish in a few weeks anyway. If we move those dates forward, you can leave now. Nothing more needs to be said. It's the best way to protect your privacy, Morgan. Time for a quick lunch break? Ah, uh, I can't. Brooke's on her way. She wants a chat. About me? <laughs> Get over yourself. She caught you stalking her chick flick group. What else is there to say? I wasn't stalking. I was worried that she'd get it wrong with those women, and she did. Panya called me this morning. They're ready to pack the meetings in. Well, I hope you talked her out of it. And why should I? Because they need their support group, and they have to give Brooke another chance. Yeah, well, Callum could reinstate me and let me do what I do best. Yeah, and then I could take over an ED, and we'd all be happy campers once again. Is the research doing your head in there? I could if I'd let it. I, I miss people. I miss feeling necessary in there. You are grumbling about it. I'm not. GPs are necessary too. Not like ED. Come on, what was your last case? Uh, Mid-50s guy with blue toe syndrome. I'm thinking cholesterol emboli from atherosclerosis. Does he have any history? What's his wife's... Whoa! Now? This isn't a consult. I've ordered blood tests. I'm winning the results. Oh. Should I come back? No, it's okay. I'm done. See you now. He looks happy. Maybe it's because the chick flick group has cancelled itself until he's back in charge. He can get a little bit too personally involved sometimes. Yeah, maybe a nice long stint in ED will iron that out. What is it you wanted to talk about? Strictly four walls? Of course. It's my new locum, Adrian. I'm a little concerned about his depth of experience. Well, we all need time to learn. Exactly, which is why I'm giving him a few weeks to get up to speed. In the meantime, I could really do with a second opinion on a patient. Oh. Sure. Anything to help? Uh, it's a child. Anna. Uh, with enlarged nodes in her neck. The mother noticed it a few days ago when the kid turned her head. Stretching the skin over the mastoid muscles? Yeah. Well, I can't make a diagnosis unless I do an examination and um, I can't do that. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm not on staff anymore. I'm paid by the Health Research Council. But you're still covered by your indemnity insurance. True. I would really value your input. What happened to you? Mm. Room three, the cleaner's already doing the floors. I need you to pick up some very messy plates. Right. One question. Why are you so hell bent on seeing the worst in me? I'm not. You've written me off as a thug, you said so. Because you proved that that's what you are right in front of me. Scotty and I had a fight, it's what brothers do. Not like that. I was a cop a long time, Ty, and I know angry men. Their fists aren't selective, and any woman that thinks it'll be different with her is a fool. And guess what? I think I should take up their offer and leave today. Why? Because the stress is doing my head in. The lies, the gossip. Cindy, every time I turn a corner, I expect her to be there. Okay, okay. Well, if you want to finish up... No, I don't. What I want is to keep working so we can pile up the money. Okay, then do that. And force them upstairs to investigate further? If they prove what happened, I will lose all my maternity pay and my career. No, I don't think they'll do that. You don't know. They're bullying you, Morgan. They want you to make it easy for them. It's working. I'm scared. Fine. Okay. Well, you were due to leave in a month anyway, and the extra wages would have been nice for the babies, but your well-being's the most important. Whatever you decide... No, I feel pathetic. Well, you're not. I am. I'm about to become a mother. I should be standing up for all of us. Stuff the bosses. They can do their worst. Hear that? That's your mummy talking. There you go. Now, has Anna had any infections lately in her ears, eyes or throat? Any colds, sniffles? Mm, no. Okay, has the lump on her neck leaked any fluid at all? Quite a bit. Okay. Thank you. What do you think? Well, the swelling's not the usual kind associated with childhood infections. Mm, it felt too firm and rubbery. Yeah, and the nodes are attached to the underlying tissues, so putting that together with the discharge, I would recommend an urgent referral to rule out malignancy. Cancer. Well, we won't know until the tests come back, but we, we can't take any chances, I'm afraid. Okay. 
Thanks for that. I probably should have known. Oh, it's a pretty rare condition. You did a good job just spotting the symptoms. Teamwork, eh? Um, yeah. Um, take care, won't you? Thanks. If I need any more help while Adrian's still finding his feet, you just knock on my door any time. Okay. I've made a decision and I'm not leaving until I'm ready. Which is when? Another four weeks, probably, maybe more. It's your call. Yes, it is. But if you expect me to keep you and Cindy apart, I can't. I've tried, but I can't. I can behave professionally. I can't speak for her. As for the rest of the staff, there's not many on your side. You'll have to cope with that. I don't want you complaining to me. I won't. People can say what they like. I know I'm doing the right thing. If you really believe that, I'm sorry for you. I can't even think how you landed yourself in such a mess. I'll be fine. It'll all work out. If you change your mind about leaving, just say the word. You owe your nurse a big apology. Up yours. Tough guy. I heard how you broke your legs. So? Well, not too smart falling off a bridge while you're tagging it. Now you're up for wagon and vandalism. Whatever. I get where you're at. I had a school too. Didn't even show up most weeks. I was into tagging, then thieving, bit of car conversion, arm um, robbery. Yeah? I'm 27 now. Spent most of the last 10 years inside. All right, bro. You reckon? What does that say? Read it yourself. I can't. I'm illiterate. Eh? That's what wagging school gets you. you know, really winds me up when people call me a dumbass, though, so I'm pretty handy with my fists. You? Yeah. Oh, you'll need that in prison. Those guys don't hold back. I'm not going down. Sure you are. You got no skills. You won't get work. You'll need to get by, and pretty soon... If you're saying I should hit the books, it's too late. Pass that pen. Couldn't even do that a month ago. It's all up to us, man. But you're the only one I can't read. I'll be back to break both your arms. I'll get you another lunch, eh? For eating this time. Am I safe to go in? He's cool. Just needs to do some thinking. Morgan, come on in. What's she doing here? When you asked to see me, I called Morgan in too. If you're both going to work here, we need to sort this out. You're favouring a pregnant woman, that's not fair. I didn't ask him to, but I can't work nights either. I need my sleep. I bet you do. Look, I know we'll never agree on what's best for the babies, but I've promised Scotty that I'll be... Their parents are back together. They should be with us. I've promised Scotty that I'll be totally professional when we're working together. I mean that. This is impossible. Every time I see her, I'll be reminded of what she's stolen from me. My children, mine and Trent's. She's nothing but a heartless, soulless incubator. If that's how she's going to be, we have a problem. And I'm left with only one solution. I'm letting you go. What? You can't. Morgan's a permanent staff member. You're a temp. I'm sorry, but today will be your last day. Okay, well, yours. Thanks. Wait, hang on. I want to show you something. Lewis, this is Tracy, a friend of Ty's. Hey. Ty wrote his name on Lewis's cast, see? <gasps> what did you do to deserve that? Just listened. Because of Ty, Lewis is now considering trading in his spray can for a school bag. Good for you. Ty, a youth counsellor. Who'd have picked it? It was one consult, and Brooke is not incompetent. She picked up the symptoms, she knew she needed backup, and she pushed her ego aside to get it. I was impressed. She sure got you right where she wants you. Oh, this is ridiculous. Are you going to step in again if she asks? I don't know. Maybe. That's a yes. Well, so what if it is? 
You know that I hate being stuck at a desk. I want to help. At my expense? No. Yes. Brooks, I'm not up to running the PCC. This is her acid test. You're bailing her out. I would never do that to you. No, you'd rather let a child's cancer go undiagnosed. Anything to score points. What kind of doctor does that make you? What kind of man? That's not what I meant. You know what? I'm not going to sit here and argue on and on about Brooke, all right? I'm sick of it. Okay, I'll let it go. I don't think you can. Because it's like you're obsessed with her. I'll see you at home. I said I could work with Cindy. She's the one who's made it impossible. Well, I'm glad she's going. Peace at last. I hope so. Never satisfied, are you? Okay. It's not enough you had to steal Cindy's babies, but you had to get her fired as well. I didn't. She's the one who made You're it. a vicious little liar. And I wish we'd known from the start. She's the guy who tried to shack up with her. Oh, she played me. Just like she's playing you. She always gets exactly what she wants. That is not true. Leave her trench. She's not worth it. Babe, I'm sorry this has happened. I'm not. It's more ammo. I'm calling the nurses' organisation. I'm telling them everything. You won't do it. You're bluffing. Tell me that when you're trying to feed three screaming babies and two adults on a typist's wage. And don't forget the legal fees. We're going to fight you for custody till kingdom come if we have to. Let's go. Thanks. I'll call you. Thanks. It's okay, it's okay. They're gone now. You're among friends. How can you two stand yourselves? What you're doing to Cindy is despicable. Well, she's obviously fed you her side of the story. There are her babies in there. There is only one side. Ask anyone. They'll tell you the same. They hate me. Everyone hates me. <sighs> friends as an I before the E. I thought I should tell you. Where's the whanau? Still at work. I hear you tamed a teenage beast today. Lewis. I uh, showed him his future. He didn't much like it. Oh, you bothered. You took the time. That's pretty neat. I didn't do it to impress you. I know. I'd like to help you with your reading again as a friend, if you want. No, thank you. I'm doing okay on my own. And I'm not saying I don't need to see you. I do. And if friends is all you want, then... That's not what I want. The leaders have reached the end of their journey and you can see the finale of Operation Transformation on Tuesday and Wednesday from 8.30 here on One.